Richard Lewis Ford was born in Carroll County, Indiana on July 11, 1925. Richard was the first child and only son of Lewis and Vera Ward. Lewis Alva Ward, Richard's father, was born in Wolcott in White County, Indiana on December 2, 1891, the son of Jesse and Mary Hefley Ward. Richard's mother was born Vera Lillian Clear on January 19, 1906 in Peru in Miami County, Indiana, the daughter of Calvin and Clara Hurd Clear. After the death of her father in 1907, Vera and her siblings went to the Mexico Orphans Home in Miami County. Vera was ultimately adopted by Pleasant and Ruth Sturdivant Ward of Carroll County. Upon her adoption, Vera's name was legally changed to Vera Marie Ward. Lewis and Vera were married on October 25, 1924 in Bringhurst in Carroll County, Indiana, and moved to a small farm in the country near Owasco. At the time of their marriage, Vera had lost touch with her mother, Clara, and her older siblings, John and Evelyn. When Vera became pregnant, Lewis hired a private investigator to locate Vera's biological family. Our first peek at Richard's life is in the photos taken at their reunion in the spring of 1925. Richard's birth on July 11, 1925 was quickly followed by the birth of his sister Juanita in 1926 and their youngest sister, Rosella, in 1927. The house where Richard was raised was one floor and had no electricity or indoor plumbing. They had a telephone that was operated with a crank and they were on a party line. Their food was stored in an ice box, which was kept cold by weekly deliveries from the ice man. In the winter, the home was heated with a potbelly stove and the children would heat bricks on the stove at night which they would wrap in towels before rushing to their beds and putting the hot bricks at their feet to keep warm. Richard's aunt, Lewis's younger sister, Elnora Oakes, lived just down the road. The Oakes children were all girls, so Richard would play dolls and house with his sisters and cousins, and in return, the girls would play in the sandbox with Richard. Richard was known to pour sand on the girls' heads. For entertainment, the family had an Atwater Kent radio, and they enjoyed listening to radio shows such as Amos and Andy and George Burns and Gracie Allen. They also had a bicycle they would ride down a hill near their house, which terrified Lewis, who was afraid they may get hit by a car at the bottom of the hill. Richard and his sisters attended school in Owasco, a two-room schoolhouse that had four grades in each room. As the only son, Richard had a lot of responsibility on the farm, including caring for the animals. One animal in particular was a goat who was very friendly to everyone except Richard's father. If Lewis wasn't careful, the goat would run up behind him and butt him. The family also kept a large garden, which was planted with potatoes, lettuce, cabbage, tomatoes, and more. They also had cows, which they would use for milk, butter, and cheese. Around 1938, the family moved to a home in Radnor in Carroll County. Now, instead of a long ride to a two-room schoolhouse, they had a short walk to a four-room schoolhouse in Radnor that had two grades in each room. Even after the wards moved to Radnor, they still kept animals, so Richard and his sisters would go out every morning before school and milk the cows, feed the pigs, and take care of the sheep. Lewis taught the children to squirt milk into the mouths of their cats, so that chore was always a favorite. After completing the 8th grade, Richard and his siblings attended Delphi High School, where Richard was a member of the Future Farmers of America. Richard graduated in 1943 at the age of 17. On November 17, 1943, Richard joined the United States Army. Though Richard had never been outside of the state of Indiana, he soon found himself traveling to Camp Croft near Spartanburg, South Carolina. He was assigned to the 112th Infantry Regiment in the 28th Infantry Division. Richard joined the 112th Infantry Regiment in England in June of 1944. In September, they traveled through France, and by October, the 28th Infantry Division was in Germany. They soon became engaged in the Battle of Hurtgen Forest from the 2nd to the 9th of November. During the battle, Richard's battalion found themselves trapped in the village of Kammerscheid. On the evening of November 8th, surrounded on three sides by German troops and quickly running out of supplies. They attempted to escape through the dense forest in the freezing cold. By morning, the 112th Infantry 
which had consisted of over 2,200 soldiers, was reduced to 300. One of the soldiers lost was Private Richard Lewis Ward. On November 26, 1944, Lewis and Vera Ward received a telegram notifying them that Richard was missing in action. Four months later, a follow-up telegram arrived, stating that Richard had been killed in action. Original reports informed Richard's parents that his remains had been recovered and were transported to the Henri Chapelle American Cemetery in Belgium for burial. Several years later, Vera tried to have her son's remains brought back to Indiana, only to discover that a mistake had been made and Richard had never been found. Lewis and Vera received Richard's Purple Heart in June of 1945, and in November, a memorial service was held for him at the Radnor Methodist Church. A memorial marker for Richard was placed in Rossville Cemetery in Rossville, Indiana. 